the trend towards increasingly large rotary kilns calls for new, efficient systems in lining technology. Systems that meet the demands of modern production methods. Here it's qualities such as method safety, lining time and smooth operability that count. Qualities that cut costs. The DAT system, a lining device with a travel working platform with pneumatic formwork arc. Installation is fast and efficient. A trained bricklayer and four assistants are necessary. The first step in installing the working platform is laying out the face scaffold supports. Next, the plug-in poles and securing bolts are inserted. The scaffold supports are set up at intervals of approximately 3.2 centimeters, and then the connecting supports are mounted. Now the adjustable cross struts and diagonal struts can be mounted. Next, the platform floor is laid down and the grab rail and lighting are assembled. The whole setup takes around 30 minutes. The six middle elements of the formwork arc and the side sections are delivered pre-assembled. They should never be taken apart. Next, the formwork arc is erected without the side moving gear and placed symmetrically on the running rails. The moving gear is screwed into place. The pneumatic cylinders are fitted together and set up. An operating pressure of 5 to 7 bar is built up. Now we can check whether the cylinders are working properly. The perfected design combined with the pressure keeping capacity of the cylinders guarantee a high degree of working and operational safety. And setup is finished in less than three hours. A characteristic feature of the DAT system with its aluminium components is its low weight. Another feature is that you can adjust the system to fit a variety of diameters. Working with the system is equally trouble-free. And what's more, the kiln doesn't have to be rotated for lining. Usually the lower shell of the rotary kiln is lined at least to a length of 3 to 4 meters, roughly up to above the kiln axis. Then the device is installed in the kiln and affixed to the first ring of bricks to be completed. The bricks are installed step by step, pressed up pneumatically and knocked into place from the side. The open space is spread with the aid of the hydraulic press. Now the ring is self-supporting. After air has been evacuated from the cylinders and the formwork arc has been moved on by one layer of bricks, the back row of cylinders support the ring that has just been installed but not closed. Now the ring is closed with a suitable combination of key bricks. The cylinders can be controlled individually. At the same time, the next ring of bricks is pulled up with the front row of cylinders. Direct monitoring of firm ring fit is possible after wedging. After the end of the platform has been reached, the device is moved on by its own length. The free section under the device is large enough to ensure smooth brick transport up to the team working in front of the device. Whole plates of bricks can be placed on the working platform up to maximum load limits. As mentioned before, the kiln does not have to be rotated for lining. Outside repairs, for example, can be performed at the same time on the running rings. Rotating the kiln during lining is nevertheless possible. And lining capacities of around 0.4 running meters per hour, or 4 to 5 running meters per shift, for kilns with a diameter of 5 to 6 meters, are nothing unusual. A comparative evaluation with conventional rotary kiln lining methods reveals the quality of the DAT system.